Good morning. Hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. We have a lot to get to this morning, starting with that deadline for Obamacare. Hard to imagine a more shaky launch. We're even learning now that at one point the White House considered scrapping the site and starting all over again. But in a brand new report released this morning, the White House now says the website is meeting its goals, working smoothly for the vast majority of users. ABC's Rebecca Jarvis is tracking the story. She has all the latest right now. Good morning, Rebecca. Hi, George. Good morning. And this is the eight-page report. It says that they have now fixed 400 bugs in the system since the launch. 90%, more than 90% of the time, it's working, it's stable, and they believe that at any given moment in time, 50,000 users can access the system. That would equate to about 800,000 users a day. What's still unclear from this report is what happens if it's a bigger number, if it's 250,000 users at a given moment in time. That's where things stood when the website initially launched and had all of those issues. But we also learned this week, Rebecca, of another delay in part of the program. Yes, the delay is on the business side, the small business side. As far as small businesses go, they won't be able to access and get insurance through healthcare.gov for at least another year. And as far as that business mandate goes for small employers employing 50 employees or fewer, they will now have their mandate delayed for a year. But that individual mandate remains in place. If you sign up for healthcare through the exchange by December 23rd, you should be covered by January 1st. White House holding the line on that individual mandate. I also spoke with the White House official yesterday said that the enrollment numbers for November are going to come in much stronger uh, than October. The question is going to be, is it good enough? And that is the question because at the current rate, the rate that we know that this website is running at, if they want to get 7 million people signed up, it will fall short of that number. We're looking at about a million people at the current rate signed up in the amount of time that they were expecting. And that could mean for future, future issues as far as the mandate is concerned for people and the cost of their insurance, the pools. If the pools are primarily dominated by older, sicker members, then ultimately those premiums will go up in 2015. Okay, Rebecca Jarvis, thanks very much. Let's bring in